70.6% of teens have seen bullying occurring in their schools. Now think about that. 70.6%. That is a lot of students witnessing it every single day. Yeah, and in more than half the cases, bullying stops within 10 seconds if someone intervenes. Mm -hmm. Well, Sharon Harvey and Taisha Harvey join us now to talk a little bit about an event to help stop bullying. Guys, thank you so much for coming in. Thank, thank you, you for having us. This is a very important topic mm -hmm. that seems to be growing. I mean, yes, I'm it sure is. it's always happened, but it's, I guess the spotlight is on it more now. Yes, it is. Tell us why you're involved. We're involved. Both of us had to go through it somewhat in, in school. Well, mine was with elementary school. And a lot of people are helpless. They feel helpless and feel like no one understands or do anything. So we felt that it was important to start helping people out and tell them about our experiences. And we're like with our show, we're having other people that's become successful come on and talk about their experience because sometimes that helps people out. And like, oh, he did it and he comes from exactly where I come from so we can do it. So it just touches real dear to our heart being going through it and then wanting to help other people also. So that's mm -hmm. why. Well, tell us about this event you're putting on. All right, it's the Stop in the Bully Awareness. We've um, collaborated with Mr. Derek E. Shelton. He's originally from Tucson, Arizona also, and he was bullied as a young man too. So we came together, he came to one of our other fashion shows and we came together and decided that we would do something to stop it. So I shared my story with him and he shared his story with me. So we're doing this to bring awareness to it and we're planning, we're in the beginning stages right now, but we're planning on a plan to go to schools and stop it and like talk to people and find out what what we can do to help people out and like get counseling for people because mm -hmm. it's a two-way thing the bully went is going through something that's why he's lashing out exactly. so you have to fix the bully and the person being bullied but and they're not standing up for themselves because something you know, don't know what it is it could be at home being abused or mm -hmm. it could be anything sexual abuse just verbal there's lots of things they can do it so we're planning a way to help out both of them so that way we can put it into it because it destroys lives it's mm -hmm. really bad it's really, it's really bad Taisha, tell us how you developed your passion for this topic I was bullied. I wasn't bullied in high school or elementary. I actually didn't start getting bullied until college, mm. which I think is really sad. But really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yes. And um, I, right after college, I started modeling. Um, after I started modeling, people would see my walk and they would ask me to coach them. So I started a small business to coach. During that time, we would have conversations and they would open up and express how they were being bullied. So um, as part of the coaching sessions, I would have a... Um, a mentoring ship with them and that's how it started to become dear to me I, pretty much everyone that I've coached has been bullied in some way mm -hmm. so I tried to figure out a way to help and um, a lot of times when you're teaching them how to model a lot of it has to do with confidence so those issues come out mm -hmm. so it just worked it worked hand in hand together so. and how can people help get involved with this you can contact us on Facebook or my phone number. I believe y'all put it on the bottom of the screen <laughs> right. there, yeah. And just call us and then we'll coordinate with you and everybody can get in. Like, you need sponsorship for some of the traveling that we do. And then if you have, like, any connections with high schools or elementary schools, it's really for everybody. It's not just young mm -hmm. people. We just base it on that because young people are younger, so that can destroy what happens when they're older. So you can just contact us on Facebook. Mine is Sharon Harvey, uh, Sharon Harvey, and then hers is Taisha S. Harvey. Mm -hmm. And then we'll set something up and then go into action. Before we have to go, tell us about this event, this fashion event that you're hosting this weekend. Okay, it's uh, the Stop the Bullying Awareness. It's on Saturday at, um, from 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock. What we're doing is we have a bunch of uh, business people that own businesses from like high end level to the lower level, and they're going to come and just speak about their experiences when they was bullying and what they did to overcome it. So, and then of course we're going to have the fashion show in it because everybody like to feel beautiful. So yes. that'll help build up confidence. And then we're going to have some of the models talk about what what they went through so just to help out and that so yes and really quickly where is it how much the, are tickets the tickets are five dollars it's going to be at the event mm. center on um Irvington and uh Irvington off the freeway okay where you can go to the page it's to stop the bullying awareness on Facebook the group page and it has all the information there all right you guys good thank luck you. with this thank you. thank you just pressing forward with this effort good job Sharon and Taishia thank you for coming in today thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah. and the stop the bullying awareness 
Fashion show featuring guest speaker Derek E. Shelton is coming up on Saturday, May 31st from 7 to 10 at Freedom RV on Irvington Road. To learn more about the event, just search for them on Facebook, search for T&T Enterprise or call 269-0846. Stick around. The Morning Blend will be right back with what's happening on tomorrow's show.